This is the Best Syndication News video production. On November 1st, 2007, we traveled to the Pinion Hills MAC meeting for a discussion about the local park. This is that meeting. Special districts, Pam. Hi everyone, how are you? Um, as you saw last time, we presented basically a pic. Oh, first of all, I have to apologize for Michael. He's sick. He uh, he talked to me I'm earlier. Here. <laughs> Michael Orm. Yeah. I know. I'm here. I'm sick. I'm oh, I'm like you don't look a thing like him. I have to say. No, I'm just, I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's he's not as tough as you. So. <laughs> but he did apologize. He's like, you can call me if you need me. So, but. I you guys think we should call him speakerphone, right? <laughs> but, but he's sick, so he's sorry he couldn't be here. Um, oh, and I, just before I get into the playground thing, I just want to also apologize to you guys for the kitchen floor in there. The reason that it has taken so long is um, it's being done by facilities management, which is the department of the county, and they had a little asbestos scare where they thought there was asbestos there, and in order to fix the tile, they would have had to cut into it. So they had it tested, the good news is nobody is exposed to asbestos, we're all okay. So, But it is going to be getting done in the next few weeks, and they're going to retile the entire kitchen floor as well. So that'll be, that'll be nice now, but it will get done. So those of you who use it a lot, I apologize for the condition that it's been in. So. Anyway, um, so last week we looked over um, the concept plan for the new park that's going in here. And um, we also picked the uh, playground equipment. And basically what it's going to be, and I have some copies of, I have a few copies of this if you want to take a closer look that's on the table over there. And I have some black and white copies of the playground equipment in more detail. But the space that was allocated for the playground equipment is kind of small because as you saw, we're getting a full basketball court. Um, but what we're going to have um, with the help of our park equipment committee is we're going to have a um, rock climbing like a, a rock climbing toy for the kids we're going to have a couple tough riders which are those little seats that the kids can rock back and forth on we're going to have some some more swings and also some toddler swings and again um, there's like three copies over there if you want to get a closer look and it has pictures of what's going to go in there and what it looks like and everything so you guys can kind of get an idea. The timeline that we're on for that right now is where I'm going to be going to the Board of Supervisors for approval to advertise the bids to get a contractor to do the work. Um, we're going to have the plans based on this concept plan finalized, you know, in the next few weeks. Um, Don, you and I can, you know, if you want to be sort of like the committee for the group or whatever, even to review the plans with us prior to them going to the bid. No, there's going to be more than me. Okay. Do you guys want to form a committee for that? or Because the, the plans that are going to be, I mean, we, we looked at this, you know, last month we kind of got the go-ahead based on the concept plan, and we're at a time frame right now to have it built in April so that it'll be completed everything <coughs> April or May. That's sort of our goal you've right been, now. You've been meeting with Jeremy so far on this, right? On the playground equipment only. <laughs> we presented the concept plan last month. So basically, if we're looking at it going out to bid in December, and we're looking at them finalizing the plans, if people want to get involved, we're kind of on like a, I know that it sounds funny to hear this now, right? But now we're on actually, we're moving along and we're on a schedule, so. You're showing a piece of play equipment here in yellow, blues, and reds, but I don't see a photograph in the, uh, they're not able to yeah, because we had limited space, we weren't able to put, that's just happened to be on the same page as the ridge, but what we're looking at for the play equipment is the ridge, that rock piece, and the reason that we thought it would look kind of nice is if you look on the concept plan, there's a lot of different rocks around there that they're going to kind of make like sitting areas for the parents, so it'll have sort of like a so rock this, thing. this structure you have drawn in in here. And the front, that's um, just a concept plan. That's just a structure, just to identify a play area. But that is a that, that is, is not put in. correct. If you look at the second page, the black and white page, that's what's going to go in. That's the rock climb. You'll see the rock climbers, the little square with the <coughs> lines. 
the little tough rider spots are identified on there. The two swing single post and the toddler swing add on that shows what's actually going in there. The concept plan was just to give a general idea of like, this is what it's going to look like, this is where the park equipment is going to be. Which, okay, the two swing, the one that only has two seaters. Right. How high is that? You know, it's... Eight foot high. It's based on the specs. It's showing eight foot high. Yeah. And then the add-on toddler swing, so we're getting a three-seater? Correct. So, and then what's with the, uh, the ride-on spring toys? Oh, the um, rough, tough riders? Uh, yeah, those. Yeah, they're going to be in the three locations on that second page. And that's what they can fit into the space. The, the key area, the key element that you have to consider is the, it's the safety space, which they show in the specs too. So we're getting three tough riders, a three-seat swing, and a, a swing and a rock, and then a whole lot of landscaping and, and trails and some uh, picnic tables. And a basketball court. Basketball court and some color. And some what? And some... Um, Canopies. Yes, correct. Shade, shading areas. Are there going to be barbecues? You know, I don't see any barbecues on here. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we could look at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This area that said that it's... Park? We have three barbecues at the original park. This area where it says proposed flat area with poured rubber recycled play surface. That's that safety area we were discussing. Is that going to be done? There's always going to be a safety area. I don't think we're going to use that rubber sub, um, rubber substance because when we looked at the price, we found that we were actually paying much more money for the surface than we were for the equipment. So we kind of made a decision that it's better to have more equipment and not the surface. I'm, I'm sorry. Because um, we picked out a couple other full sets with slides there, but they're not even going to fit any of those without any of the surface. That's there. correct. So that space must be a lot smaller than, than it actually looks like. Mm -hmm. Then it looks like on this front page. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? Mm -hmm. No, I guess it doesn't really show that long here. That'll be on the specifications, but I don't have the exact exact area with me now. So when they take this concept plan and they put together plans and specifications, then it'll have all the measurement. We did surveying just like last week, the week before. Well, we did initial surveying and then they did secondary surveying for, you know, drainages and different things. And that's how they came, and they did that after the concept plan. And that's where they came up with all of the different sizes, which will then be on the plans that we get to review. Like, the Mm -hmm. Climbing, a little more climbing stuff. Well, that's the what other the rock's going to be doing. The rock. Yeah, the rock is a climbing rock, and the other reason is that because you do have that playground structure already, this is something kind of different from what you already have to give you know variety. So, I, I would like to see some commitment towards getting a, uh, I'm sorry, a tire swing at, at some point in the future in this area. Well, what we can also do is, you know, when it goes to bid, you would ask me about budget information. I believe there's $200,000 allocated for this project, um, you know, based on this concept. Well, we have $200,000 allocated on the project based on the grant money we have available. And then this concept plan, you know, is within that $200,000 budget. But once it goes to bid, because like I said, it's going to go to the board based on the plans that are prepared, then it will go to bid, and so if the bid comes in lower than two hundred thousand dollars, at that time we can look at additional things that you know we might want to add if there's funding available. Sandy, um, this is the first time I've seen this okay. concept. Mm -hmm. What is this rock? Is it? Are we just installing a rock, or your diagram has? No, if you look at it, no, if you look at it, it's just that rock. Okay, it's just it's a six rock. foot rock. What's the cost of this six foot rock? And why can't we just find one in our neighborhood somewhere? I hear. This has been a Best Indication News video production.